another national park? What? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We actually uh, traveled down from Glacier National Park to Bozeman last night or yesterday. We didn't do a whole lot of vlogging. Uh, we did a little bit, but we wanted to spend some time together. We went to the hot pools, all that kind of fun stuff in Bozeman. Also got to spend time with family. Um, and again, thank you, family, for booking us a hotel yes, in Bozeman. You. We truly appreciate it. Today, as you can see, we're about to enter in Yellow Stone National Park. We're in Gardner just outside on the north side, and we've already seen probably over 100 elk. Literally, there was one on this guy's doorstep. So uh, <laughs> if that means anything for today, we're looking forward to a fun day exploring Yellowstone National Park. So let's go. First fun fact of the day, 45th parallel of latitude, halfway between equator and North Pole. Realize that you could have just read that, but uh, I just wanted to be special. So one of our first major stops is Mammoth Springs, which we're about to go do some hiking. There are elk everywhere, but my suggestion would be stop at the visitor center, clean restrooms, uh, you got park rangers in here, super nice, have any answers to any of your questions. Uh, they're more than happy to help you out, so it's, it's a like good way a, to start a, the day a off. little town here. Yeah, it's awesome. it's awesome. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so we just got super close to a bull elk. That almost charged a visitor. Yeah. That's don't just, don't get close to the elk because they'll charge you. Don't be that guy. <laughs> they call the mound terrace where there's still actually hot water rolling down. I think that is it for Mammoth Springs for us. Um, I would suggest the Pallet uh, Terrace, I think it is, I'm on below. That's, that's beautiful, but make sure you go up and above because you can actually see the pools where that water and the color is coming from. So it's not a bad hike. Everything is boardwalk, so it's easy to get access to. We drove around the upper side of Mammoth Springs and there's what they call the Canary Springs, which is one of the prettier ones out of all of them. So make sure you don't pass that. It's starting to rain, but it actually feels really nice out here. Checking out, this is the bottom side of Canary Springs, just over here. Sure this is one of the, the yeah, down. make sure you go all the way to the end of the boardwalk because we would have missed out had we not come to the upper side. Uh, and this is amazing. <laughs> our first bison sighting there's three or four in this little valley <laughs> roaring mountain this is really cool Look 
for the Norris Geyser Basin. There's tons of thermal activity out there. I'm trying not to slide down this hill. It's getting colder. word this is quite amazing oh my goodness Okay, so the lower falls is absolutely gorgeous. Only thing is, it is crazy high. So I got Tina over there getting some footage because it makes me feel crazy uneasy. But the view, I think it's like three quarters of a mile down here. Really, really amazing. That's too high for me though. That's frightening. So going down is not a big deal. Coming up kicks you in the patootie. Sorry for my colorful language. Ooh. Like any of the trails out here, I would encourage you just take your time. We're in a rush, so we took eight minutes to get back up here. That's why we're breathing and sweating, but we survived because we still got a lot to do today. You a little scared there? Yeah, just a little bit. It's a long ways down. That is a long ways down. But gorgeous. There's another view of it. And here is even higher, oh my word. Yeesh. We've just come on the other side of the river. There's another viewpoint, which is closer to the upper falls, which we didn't see. We saw from a distance, but uh, I believe this view is better of the upper falls. So we're gonna check it out. Wow. That's cool. Upper falls is beautiful too. So absolutely, I would say, get views on both sides of the upper falls and the lower falls. Just take some time to do it. Uh, the upper falls easy to get uh, the view from parking lots a little bit bigger too and it's pavement and easy just to walk out several you can't meters see the canyon from can't, the upper falls no as well, though. it's specifically looking at the upper falls yeah. though All right, so that last one, the Dragon's Mouth Spring, was probably one of my favorites. Really, really cool. Uh, make sure you check that out. Apparently, over the last even 10 years, it's collapsed even more and more. Um, but a good thing that it's not capped off because all of that energy would probably explode. So it's a good thing that it's open. So I've forgotten how big Lake Yellowstone is. Um, we're actually really trying to get because we're running out of time. We want to make sure we get over to Old Faithful before it gets dark um, So we're probably gonna beeline it over there, but this lake is absolutely gorgeous as well Ooh. 
We've made it to Old Faithful. It has been since 1988 or 89 for me. So it's been a long time since I've been able to experience this. And I'm pumped. Teens never. So hopefully Old Faithful continues to be faithful and shows up too. Faithful. Anytime now. It's getting cold. So, um, yeah, we we time that perfectly, not intentionally, um, but we just happened to show up. And I think we waited for about 10 minutes. Yeah. And then it erupted. At about 4.45. Or no, 3.45. 3.45. And so the next one was going to be about an hour. Almost an hour and a half. Almost an hour and a half. So we timed that well because I feel like it's going to get darker earlier today. But just because it's been overcast and rainy and it's cool. That's why a teen has the mask on outside. Because it's one way to keep you warm. Also, there are many geysers in a lot of different things you can do over here. We're crunched on time, but what are some of the things that you like to do? Also, we've been super impressed with all of the uh, park rangers who have been so helpful. They're eager and ready to answer your questions. So don't shy away, just ask away. They love it, that's their job. They want to inform you on all things about the park. Looks like they have a nice general store here. Um, so we're going to grab some drinks, warm coffee, and maybe some souvenir. Here's a little word of advice. Um, before you travel, if you can, get your bear spray at Walmart or something. It's $29.99 last time I checked. Bear spray at Walmart. Bear spray here, $49.99. We are at our last scheduled stop for today at Midway Geyser Basin, hoping to see the Grand Prismatic Spring in all of its colorful glory. But it's overcast, so I don't know how colorful it will be um, based off the park ranger told us that the best time to see it is in the afternoon when uh, there's plenty of daylight. So I don't know, we'll see. popping through. Fortunately, I think it's too overcast. Yeah, to overcast, see. and it's just there. You can see a little bit of it. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what we have today. Okay, everyone, it has been an amazing day. Unless we see any wildlife on the way, uh, we're not exactly sure we're, where we're staying tonight. Um, so we shall see. So we just went out of the south entrance of Yellowstone. We were debating on going west or south, depending on the weather. The reason being is we wanted to see Grand Teton National Park if the clouds had cleared out. And it looks like it's starting to clear out, so we're heading south to Jackson. Not sure exactly where we're going to stay, but we're going to head that way. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we can still see a bear and a moose. Alrighty everyone, I was not able to 
close out the vlog. Yes, don't look at the hair. Uh, we were getting into Jackson quite late last night and we were looking for hotels and they were insane expensive. So we said, forget that. So we uh, continued on down to Afton, Wyoming. That's where we're at this morning. My hair's all over the place today. Um, and so we rested last night. We were tired, resting this morning. Um, but that is the end of this vlog. We've got one more vlog for you, which will be us heading to Salt Lake, spending some time in Salt Lake with some friends. Um, and then tomorrow is travel day.